Hello friends, those back pages here. I hope you're well. Let me start off by saying that a couple weeks ago now, my uh, my dog, my boy, he crossed over the Rainbow Bridge after 17 plus happy years in my life. It's hit me pretty hard, as it would anyone that is a pet owner and loses their pet, because they are like family. So that's thrown me for a bit of a loop. Some days are better than others, like everyone else. We continue on. But I've let the mail pile up, and I'm just getting around to opening some of it. And if you make content, you know, in your idea, you have an idea in your head how it's going to go, what you want to talk about, how you want to present stuff. And I had all of that in mind about a half hour ago. And then I got around the opening. I had one way I was going to go with this video and then I had it got around the opening a package that a friend of mine Don the show and me sent me that we we had submitted some stuff to SGC and uh, finally got around to opening that box today and Don I can't thank you enough Don and JT Triple Crown 24 are like the two sons I've never had. Um, they're very special to me. You know, we, we have a lot of great conversation, not only about life, but about cards, or vice versa, not only about cards, but about life as well. So, let me just get on with it before I get too emotional. Um, in the package that had these slabs, that we submitted Don included a couple of extra things and uh, just show them off first off is this postcard of uh, George Washington Don is a big uh, painters artist fan goes to the museums and one day I'd like to to uh, go to the museums myself and this is from one of the museums uh, natural gallery of art and the artist of this painting is, Ju is Gilbert Stewart and you're saying to yourself wow that, that kind of looks yeah it's nice but it kind of looks familiar you know that style this this George Washington he kind of looks familiar and you know to me too and I said well why is that and then I found out that you know he's the guy who drew this <laughs> So his art is on the one dollar bill. You know, I think that's pretty impressive. Something, you know, Gilbert Stewart. You know, you look him up, but uh, yeah, his, his artwork is on the dollar bill, which is pretty impressive in my book. And then he had sent some, uh, some, some uh, base cards, oh, chromes, but. Mark Twain from 2009, Topps Heritage Americana, Topps Heritage History, I think, I don't remember, but these are numbered, the chromes to 1776, they're not, there are no, unfortunately there's no refractor versions of these, but these three are numbered to 1776, Edgar Allan Poe, Thomas Edison. Then we have some uh, some raw cards that of you know this is a uh, what is it I'm so bad with names sometimes it's Mozart Bach Mozart Bach these are the Wills 2010 Wills cigarettes I think these are Eckstein yeah Eckstein I think these are from 1934 there's you'll see in a second in there. So thank you, Don, for those extras. Appreciate it. 
the stuff you were supposed to keep for yourself naturally you give it to someone else so yeah let's see we had a I had five cards in this order just a couple of 2011 wills not 10 sorry big fan of this card I have a bunch of them you know Beethoven is my main uh, main music PC I guess you could say or however you want to phrase it so I got these two slabbed up picked up picked them up raw had them slabbed up now this one here is you know hopefully you can't really have, it's difficult to appreciate this this is the only copy of this card I've ever seen and uh, it's a blank bag it's from from Guinea Gold Ogden's Guinea Gold set which I've shown many times from 1901 but this is the 1902 quote unquote new series one <clears throat> and just just love the image used on this I mean the broody Beethoven it's just uh, it does have an inner baggy I mean unfortunately you can see there around around the edge of the card and the corners of the slab there and the pockets here you can see the baggie but I mean this is a non traditional sized card so I guess you can get them you can give them a pass um, much like these are these do not have baggies because this is pretty much the same size as a t206 so there's not really any need for a baggie but PSA and CGC well, I absolutely use a baggie on those, unfortunately. Here's the one from the Eckstein, 1934, yep. This is the, uh, the Beethoven for the Beethoven PC. You know, the back is in German. But uh, just going for a walk, a moody walk, pondering things. Just, you know, the artwork, on, it's, it's just... You know, this card is, uh, next month this card will be 90 years old, what, you know, and this is relatively new, and then, you know, 1902, 1911, but, uh, yeah, this is, uh, you know, we're a month away from 2024, and this is about to turn 90, uh, <laughs> It's it's really something else the way time is flying by. Uh, here's the another one that we submitted here, 1911 Royal Bengals, Heroes of History. This is the uh, Benjamin Franklin. It has a pinhole there right on the top. I don't know if that'll show up, but uh, again, 1911. So 113 years old, 112 going on 113. Um, very uh, <laughs> reminiscent of the Willie Mays rookie that curtain in the background but uh, I think it's supposed to be a tree or something on the maze but but again you know you can see the house there in the background just fantastic artwork on that no baggie and uh, speaking of baggies this was a pickup I had that came in from 1901 Ogden's Guinea Gold Limited same uh, previous year from the the Beethoven I just showed and again blank back but uh, look at the baggie just just terrible looking I mean it is what it is right I mean if you hold that at a good angle it's fine but you get it in the angle light in the right light you can see how wrinkly this is it does have a a baggie on the back of it holding it in place evidently you can see there the ripples on the back but there are no ripples you can see the gloss on the actually has a nice kind of shine to the front of the card and there's no baggie on the front but they got to do something about this this is a you know never mind you know how long PSA takes to slab their stuff what they charge Again, PSA is my 
number one if I had to put you know rankings. And I've been called out as a PSA homer. And that is certainly not the case because you, you saw I just submitted my own cars to SGC. And I, you know, for speed, not only for speed, but for presentation, I, I, could, I could do without. I mean, again, I've talked about this multiple times. You know, I could do without the black. Very unpopular opinion. But if this gasket was this gasket color this frosted would be would be perfect it would, it would yeah, it would be perfect in my opinion but anyway more cards um so yeah that that kind of spurned the beginning of this video but originally because i had gotten you know i picked up you know, a couple of cards from jt over the weekend and the importance of having friends in the hobby as they go to shows that you might not go to and they see stuff that you might not see and they actually have stuff walk up to the table that you may not see. So I, this he sent me a text on Saturday. It might have been Sunday. Anyway. And it was this, a picture of this Jerry Rice. And he asked me if I was interested in it. And I don't have any Jerry Rice playing days refractors in my collection. So of course I was interested in it. He gave me a price. I said, yeah, that works. And I opened the, the package arrived in the mail today. Best, probably the best packaging, you know, it came in a box. You know, two cards, two slabs in a box that were... Yeah, just perfect packaging, let's put it that way. I'm putting eBay to shame, but I guess it's not all that difficult. Um, just, you know, you have to sit and you have to admire the production quality, the build, as I like to call it, on this. I mean, it just, you know, it, it's, I don't know if it's etched. Yeah, I guess technically it is etching because you can, you can see the, the folds in his jersey where he's turning the 80 the uniform number um, the line you know the line on the ball his gloves like it just the outline of the Niners logo you know the face mask has lines you know it's just you know his name and the team name is there is 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 etched. I mean, it's embarrassing when you look at what's coming out now and what they're charging for what's coming out now. It just puts it to shame. I mean, the, the, the shine on this is just almost blinding, right, Andy? I mean, it's just look at that. And, I, you know, I hope it's doing it just on video. Pictures don't, you know, look good when he sent me the picture, but it doesn't do it any justice. So, yeah, I take that. So, you know, I went about doing what I was doing, and I got a text from him, and he sent me another picture with a group, like a showcase. You know, somebody's showcase display, a picture. And uh, with this being the focus... And, <laughs> again, you see this in person and it's just blinding. You know, it doesn't quite have, this is fine, 99 fineness. It doesn't, like, unfortunately Seattle is not etched. The pinstripe on his jersey top is. The sleeve, his left, you know, the sleeve, his long sleeve is. The helmet has some lining, some outlining, I guess is a better term. But, I mean, it's got some... It looks like some texture in the nameplate. The build on this is amazing. Yeah, this is the gems subset. I think he has three three base cars total in this set. And just you know the price, the you know the picture had a price sticker, and I'd asked I asked JT if he ask him see if he'll take 
a little bit less. Griffies are not cheap. And uh, yeah, sure enough, he got it and wound up being actually this is the actual slab that I was watching on my eBay list because when I went back to eBay, <laughs> the ending the list was ending and it was about 33% cheaper that he got it for me in person than on eBay. So the power of having friends in the hobby is difficult to measure. So, you know, without JT being my friend, I might own this if I went ahead and smashed the bin. But I certainly wouldn't own the rice because it didn't, it wasn't on eBay. These things are important. Um, let's see. Some tops black. I think I might have shown a couple of these off. But this is the Mookie Betts tops black from 2018. And the case is cracked. And my winning bid was uh, was lower because of that. These are numbered to 67 on the back there. And uh, not shiny, but I do love me some tops black. I mean, yeah, I, I'm really trying to. <laughs> focus as much as I can on you know tops black and 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 shiny ideally number shiny but some number shiny is very crazy here's from the uh, 23 top series 2 here's an Otani black numbered to 72 on the back there yeah there you go you've seen that before but this is one I haven't shown before 22 update Freddie Freeman Tops Black, first uh, base card with the Dodgers. Again, cheaper than a blaster. Uh, picked up this 22 Platinum, Bowman Platinum Gold, uh, Bobby Wood Jr. It's numbered to 50 there. It's foil, but it, it's nice shine to it. I, I really do like the image used on it. Um, here we go. I mean, this 2008 Bowman Chrome Gold Refractor, which kind of looks brown. It was kind of panned when it came out. It is numbered to 50 on the back. I mean, it's got, I don't know, it's, I think that's A-Rod in the back. But, I mean, it's, no, it can't be A-Rod. Well, no, he wasn't there anymore. Never mind that, but it, it's it's shiny, but it's not, you know, it's it's dull compared to the '90s. But it is a and tops Chrome didn't start making gold refractor for numbered to fifty for baseball until the year after, till two thousand nine. But again, there's, this is number the 50, so there's only so many to go around. And Bowman Chrome is a respectable brand. Here's a 2017 Bowman Chrome Gold Refractor. No, etching is totally gone. Uh, this ha this has some outlining on it. On the logo, it has some outlining. By by 2017, totally gone. Yeah, totally flat. A little bit of shine but uh, totally flat. Number to 50 helps it out. But uh, here's the 16. Again, same deal. No outlining, no etching. Some shine at least. I, mean, I guess it's a little bit better than the shine. Now, now, here's the 2003. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's uh, a proper gold refractor right there. Etching. You can see it. Seattle. Around the helmet. Gloves. And these are numbered to 449. I believe this was the first year for Todd's Chrome numbering them because 2001 was retro refractors weren't numbered. 2002 gold refractors were not numbered. This is 2003. 
but that's just incredible shine. That's what a gold refractor should look like. Here's a uh, 2020 gold refractor, Bowman's best Ronald Acuna. I mean, just pff, barely any shine. I mean, the numbering is down here. It is numbered to 50, but that's just, you know, there's no shine over here at all. I guess that's a gold refractor. <laughs> just a shame. Just a shame. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think I've shown this one off, but just some really good stuff in this pile. This is the 2006 Topps Chrome Red Refractor. It has etching. Just a great photo. These are numbered to 90. The red numbering got all over the place. Now it's generally five. But for baseball it was 90, and then for, for football it was like a couple hundred. I forget offhand. Here's the 2006 Topps 52 Chrome debut flashback. You know, it does have some outlining around the Trios frame and around the bat. It's got that nice texture, the heritage texture in the bag. 52 top design. These are number two, 552. So these are relatively affordable and findable, attainable, I guess. Here's a 2018 Heritage Chrome Refractor. Again, the outline is there. The, the, the granular texture in the bag is nice. These are number two, 569. So these are relatively attainable. Here's a 2019 Topps Heritage Chrome Black. Very nice card. Uh, number two, 69 on the bag. You know, he was not in regular flagship. He had an SB. But he was in Heritage, so that happy to have that in the collection. Now, a couple of things here. Nineteen ninety-eight was Gretzky's last year in the National Hockey League. Just again, look at the shine on this. I hope it's showing through. Um, you know, it's got it's got the etching, it's got the nice piping along the the puck in the background and everything else. Now, if you want a Wayne Gretzky refractor that's numbered from when he was an active player, this is it. There's this refractor that is numbered to four hundred. And then there's an atomic refractor version of this, which is number 200. And that's it. And this is relatively affordable. All things considered, who he is, what he's accomplished. Um, this set pretty much covers between this set, 1998 Bowman's Best, was released across all four sports. Baseball, basketball, football, and hockey. So if you're looking for an affordable playing days card that's numbered, refractor that's numbered, everybody except Michael Jordan and Mario Lemieux are represented. If they were active in 1998, Represented across this brand, uh, Michael Jordan and Mary Lemieux were unfortunately they were retired when this came out, so they were not included. But the importance of of, of this set, I think, is uh, fairly underappreciated because of what Bowman's Best has become over the years. Very happy to have this Gretzky in the collection. Now, if you want another, here's another tip that I've put into effect for myself. If 
you want a plain day's refractor for these grates, they're not cheap. But an affordable option is their Topps Chrome, or in this case, this is an Opeachy Chrome. A couple of years they made hockey, made Opeachy Chrome, and instead of Topps Chrome, you can kind of see it there in the corner. It says Opeachy Chrome. But, I mean, look at that shine. And the etching. You know, you can see the etching in the uniform. And this is an insert. So, you know, there's a non-refractor version of this insert, which isn't very costly. So if you want some shine and an active player, like from the active playing days, for an all-time great, you know, this is a great alternative. These are not numbered. Uh, it's a season best, season's best insert. They did them pretty much across all the sports. Um, so that's the Gretzky. Let me see. Yeah, I'll just skip a couple here. This is from 98 Topps Chrome Football. This was the 98 Opeachy Chrome Hockey because it, instead of Topps Chrome, I guess they had to get cute. But again, power and speed, season's best, sub uh, insert. There's a non-refractive version of this, which is only a couple of dollars. This was less than a chromium, a, cu a current day chromium blaster. So this was a few dollars less than a blaster. Again, you can see the number on his uniform, the helmet has etching, the word power and speed have etching and shine great great shine embarrassing what they put out now same company but not the same company uh, here we go I picked up the 1998 Bowman Chrome Interstate Refractor for Barry again look at that shine it's just blinding this is this is the first because this is the first year they did a Bowman Chrome for football. And this is the first parallel to the par parallel to the refractor. To the refractor parallel. The interstate. Yeah, he's from Kansas. These are not numbered. The year after are numbered for 99. But uh, just incredible shine on this. And this was less than three blasters actually close to two blasters <laughs> but uh, again etching all over the place just embarrassing what they put out today uh let's see who's okay yeah so i put in some bids on some uh in the vein of what i was talking about last episode with the uh the box boys project but uh, not quite a box boy but kind of forgotten about now and it's a couple of mark to share slabs i was trying i won these three to share slabs for one seller combined shipping for the win and and uh <laughs> i had lost some other stuff that i was trying to win but that's okay uh this is this is numbered to 90 like the ichiro Red Refractor, 2006 Topps Chrome PSA 9. I won this for $6.50. It's got nice shine to it. Um, next up from the, like I said, same seller. This is impressive. I will give it to Topps on this one. The etching is gone. Um, the image is flat. There's no outlining on to share himself. I mean, there's the piping has some, some, uh, some, some lineage, some line outline there. The word Braves and the the team name is flat, 
but this card is incredibly shiny. Incredibly shiny. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in person. If I have, it's been a while and I forgot. But this, the shine on this is much better than this. Now this has the Rangers, is uh, almost looks embossed because it, it's got the etching on the uniform and everything else. But this, and the, 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 nine, the uh, 06 is numbered to 90, now this is numbered to 25. These, I really, really like these 2008 red refractors. I mean, it, it's a color match with the Braves, so that helps. Just a great, this is a great looking baseball card. Obviously, it would look a lot better if it was etched, but, you know, he's just smacked the ball to uh, right center, dropping the bat. Just a fantastic, I'm very happy to have that. Well under the price of a blast. The final to share a card is from 2010 Topps Chrome. This is a gold refractor. Um, he has some outlining on on the on the on his player image and the name. In 2010, it was the start of uh, Strasbourg Mania. A lot of product was ripped. And these are numbered to 50 on the back. And this was, I think, seventeen dollars. It's a PSA nine. So you know, the person who submitted this took a loss, but they cry, we buy. It's got great shine to it. Yankees card. And the last card up for today's episode is uh, this 2022 Prism. Hobby only prism flashback insert set. I uh, picked up this Brady and a Mahomes. The Mahomes has not arrived yet, but I figured you know this does have some matching. Not anything near what you know Panini has been cutting back on it for sure. I mean, you can see it there on his. Uh, I kind of have to. There we go. The 12. You know, the glove on his left hand, the football has some etching, the towel, the helmet, the uh, the box logo on the helmet. Overall, this is a nice card. It doesn't compare to the 90s, but then again, what does?